So in the 2020s, just not so far away, so just a decade or so, um, the, the level of research will have been so successful, very probably, that uh, major new companies will be formed called artificial brain companies. For example, the South Korean government is quasi promising its citizens that by 2020 it will be putting an intelligent, highly useful home robot in every Korean household. So, so we're, talking, we're talking about one of the richest and biggest industries in the world. I mean, these artificial brain companies will be the new Googles and Microsofts of that decade. Okay? So, uh, of course, you know, huge amount of ongoing research will increase the level of artificial intelligence of these artificial brains. They will become more and more brain-like and hence more intelligent and therefore more useful and therefore people want to buy them. I mean, it would be wonderful to have a home robot that could uh, walk the dog and wash the dishes and wash the clothes and clean the house and tell you a story and entertain you and sex you and educate you. I mean, people would pay big money for that. And uh, yeah, I've asked people, you know, how much money would you be prepared to dish out on a truly intelligent, useful home robot that was smart enough to be useful, but not so smart that it was a threat? So, and we're now in the 2020s, yeah, we're not, you know, into the Artelex scenario, the 2020s. And the general answer seems to be a lot of people would be prepared to pay more money for such a robot, a useful home robot, than for a car. So if you, if you take that, that amount of money per household and you multiply it by millions, if not billions, you're talking major industries. Okay? So the, the economic momentum push, pushing down that route of making ever smarter artificial brains to control home robots and zillions of other applications as well. So this major artificial brain industry, <coughs> that would be very difficult to stop. The, the economic momentum would be like trillions of dollars a year worldwide. Enormous. Okay, now uh, let's move move along a bit further into the 2020s and getting into 2030s. What will happen? What's likely to happen? Well, uh, virtually everybody's familiar with the phenomenon the, the laptop computer or iPod, iPad, whatever, goes through successive vari variants, you know, uh, versions. They get, they get more performant, they get smarter, they get faster, they get cheaper or whatever. So you can imagine then that um, people will update their home robot every couple of years. Right? They'll throw out the old one, sell it second hand, and buy the new one which has richer vocabulary, a better sense of humour, knows more, just generally more performant, smarter than the previous model that, that people had. And uh, there'll be such a huge market that the number of researchers put on the problem, improving the, the standards of these devices, these machines, will be enormous. There will be an enormous amount of brain power, human brain power, going into the, these industries to improve the, the level of artificial intelligence of these machines. Okay, so next step. Uh, let this be human intelligence level. And this is, let's say, machine uh, intelligence. Let's say the years, I don't know, 2025, roughly. Okay? Now, at each, uh, as each model comes out, you know, a couple of years later, like the next model, smarter model comes out, that means that IQ gap between human intelligence level and machine intelligence level, that gap will close a little bit, right? Because the machines got smarter. And a few years later, it'll close, you know, go up again, 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 again. Now after uh, a series of these um, increases in artificial intelligence, I mean you can, see, you can see the writing on the wall, right? It'll be obvious to millions if not billions of people that the IQ gap between human level and machine level, that gap is closing. And that's when the species Dobbins debate will move away from just the intellectuals and the techies and the artificial brain researchers and the artificial intelligence researchers, it will go to virtually everyone because virtually everyone will see with their own eyes their own home robots closing the IQ gap. Right? So it, it'll, it'll become just for everybody. Everybody will be uh, debating this issue. You know, obvious questions like, 
Should we, you know, humanity, should we allow our machines to reach human level? Should we, should we let them go, become on a par with human level intelligence? 